is the next video and today we are going to learn in AK security how to secure the Azure Container Registry because this is the only endpoint where the AKS or pods are getting the images from. So just to refresh the architecture, I have created this small diagram where we have this AKS cluster on which our nodes and pods are running. And these pods are fetching the images from somewhere, right? And we have already covered this part in so many videos. In Azure, we use Azure Container Registry. That could be public and private. It's up to you how you wanna make it. So it will pull the images from the ACR. And somewhere our developer is sitting with a laptop, creating the images and pushing it to the ACR. So AKS, the only thing which is getting AKS from outside is images and that is from ACR. So in any AKS architecture, because this is AKS, how to secure AKS series. So the very first thing we need to secure is ACR because from where it is getting all the images, right? So we are going to talk about few points that we need to keep in mind before implementing ACR in our AKS architecture for the applications. And from next videos, we are going to decipher the AKS components as well. And ACR is one of the most important component of AKS architecture. So let's get started. Well, I would like to uh, request you keep the keep the defense in depth in mind. This will help you to secure anything uh, with the uh, well-defined principle already. And we have already talked about defense in depth so many times. So if we apply defense in depth here, the very first point will come here is uh, admin account. We need to block the admin account. Right. Whenever we create the ACR, we have done that so many times in our labs and you must have seen there like access keys and the admin account. Admin account is an easy way to give access to anyone, but it will open all the images up for those people who has the access to this admin account username and password. So the best way is always apply RBAC, Azure AD RBAC. Use managed identities or service principle and only give the access which is needed. For example, if we talk about AKS, we only give, we can enable the managed identities here and we can apply only image pull access to this AKS so that nothing can be done only it could pull the access from here. We can only give the access to developer as image push so that it can only push the images to the ACR. So it's admin account and RBAC. RBAC. Admin account we need to disable and we need to use Azure AD RBAC. That is the very first point. And even as I said at the beginning, defense in depth, the very first thing is access. That's how you're gonna manage your ACR access and you're gonna secure it. That's the very first point we need to keep in mind. Now, the second point is, what are we pushing here? We are pushing images. So maybe your developer has something on his uh, local laptop to scan the images, he might be running Docker scan or something. Uh, but once it is, once he pushed the images in the ACR, images are no more in the local system to be scanned, it's there. And it could be the possibility, the AKS is using it right now, or maybe tomorrow, maybe after seven days. So images are lying here in the ACR, and we need to think of something which will keep on scanning those images and find the vulnerabilities and sending you the notifications to you or letting you know these are the images uh, are flagged or need to be taken care of. 
So if we talk about Azure, we have Microsoft Defender that we could use for scanning these images. We can enable Microsoft Defender to the ACR. See, ACR could be public and private, as I said, when we block the access from outside. But if you block the access from outside, Microsoft Defender cannot be enabled for the private ACRs, but it can be enabled for the public ACRs. Even on the public, you can take care of a lot of things through the network firewall and the access. Uh, but the main point is in our second point that we need to keep in mind, need to find maybe third party tool. There is so, so many third party tools that you can utilize like Aqua and so many others. Uh, we need to scan the images which are used by AKS pods regularly, automatically. If there's any vulnerabilities found, you should be notified, right? Now, there is uh, one more thing in Docker images that can help you secure your images, which is content trust. It is, it is signing of the images, which will validate like this is the authentic image. Nobody has messed with the image. Uh, if I could relate it with the basic principle of the security, CIA, we talked about it. CIA triad, confidentiality, integrity, and availability. So content trust maintains the integrity of your images, okay? And all those images which are signed can only be pushed and pulled to the ACR once it is enabled. That's how you can uh, make your environment that uh, sophisticated. Nobody else can pull and push like any damn image, but only the trust one, only which are signed ones. So we should enable the content trust. Now, whenever we create the image, uh, Docker image to run the pods through this cycle, there is always a base image like Ubuntu or CentOS, whatever you're using the base image. We need to make sure whenever this base image is updating or up getting the updates, we will also keep on updating our base image which is residing here and ultimately on which ports are running, right? So keep on updating, update the images, right? Now there's something very good which is called ACR tasks, which will help you autom automate this process. You know, it would be a troublesome or it, it would be a very, uh what's the word not a good process let's let's put it this way uh like you keep on checking when the base image is updating and it will keep on updating so you can automate this process whenever the base image is updating you are updating your images which is, which is used by the pods through the acr task even in your repository right now there is one more thing that i mentioned before network firewall just like any other path services in azure you have network firewall in acr as well you can uh, whitelist the ip addresses you can make it totally private by blocking the public access and only be accessible through the private network you can do that so network firewall is a wonderful tool that we should utilize as per the need of our organization if we are pulling and pushing image through the virtual network, we should totally block it. If we have the developers pushing the image from all over the world, we should only give access to those particular uh, IPs. That's how we can do it. We can also enable the service endpoint and private endpoints for those public uh, ACRs. And uh, this can also help us to secure it, right? Now, there is... Uh, one more thing which is very important that is do not keep the sensitive information in your uh, images it's something like everyone knows so where to keep those things we have azure key vault utilize the this resource this is a wonderful resource for keeping secrets sensitive data passwords certificates use it and that's how these are like most important points, the best practices that we talked about, which could help us to secure our ACR. 
And whenever you're planning to architect AKS, of course, ACR will be there and you need to think of these things to make the security strong. Well, if you think there are so many, uh, if you think like some important point that I've missed, I would request you to put down in the comment. It happens sometimes when, when we sit down and start creating the video, start working on it, things which are uh, very important miss may slip but i think i have covered almost all the parts which are necessary but if there is anything that i've missed uh, please mention in the comments if i think i missed maybe i realize later i'm going to put it there as well in the description well thank you for watching and you have a good day in next video we'll start uh, securing the other components of the AKS.